This album is such a musical garbage pile that I can't even make jokes. I actually came up with a theory of how this album may have jinxed two of hip hop rising stars, one being NBA Young Boy and the other being Little Pump. Both of these people I expect last like real um real verse or real given um musical in compilation or fucking track that they did was this album and both of them were arrested and put into jail. NBA young boy might be serving nine years and little pump mom might get in trouble because little pump had his own pump. So I personally think that maybe somehow the karmic type of waves or whatever came together to put these people in jail to actually punish them for this fucking god awful album. It's just, oh gosh, whatever mixtape or whatever, it's just bad, man. It's just bad. Just no jokes aside, this is fucking amazing garbage. And I'm just gonna get into like little Yachty's whatever history or whatever of his whole musical career. Now, Little Yachty, he came out with this mixtape called Little Boat. It was pretty amazing. It was quite corny. It had its cringy line and just utterly repulsively stupid lines like, it's so cold, I might need a fan or some bullshit like that. That just utterly made me think, gosh, this guy must be trolling hard just to get the popularity. But then he came out with Teenage Emotion, where it is confirmed that he is definitely trolling hard to get the popularity. Teenage Emotion was this utter album about the rejects and other freaks of this world. But all he talks about is how popular and flashy he is. And how he makes a lot of money in fucking your bitch. These things doesn't talk about like the themes of maybe being isolated or alone because you somehow stand out. No, it's bidding toward popularity and just utter. It's, it was just a fucking bad album. And I said it was the worst album of the year, 2017. And then I hear this album and I'm like, oh my gosh. Now I know it's going to be the worst album of 2018. Little Pump, you did it. I mean, Little Yachty. Little Pump is pretty fucking awesome on this whole mixtape. But anything would have sound awesome with his baritone, yeah, yeah, vocals on this fucking album. Just, I'm just going to get into it, man. Now, one of the things I do not like is the utter lack of racial sensitivity and just basic racism on this fucking album. Like, Jesus Christ. We start out with this song called Self Made where little, little Yachty, he says that somebody's calling him a coon while he's wearing this big ass chain, which is cool and all. Well, not cool, but it's something, it's, it's like a little f turn of phrase now, you know, it doesn't have that many racial connotations, you know, he's just saying that they're acting dumb or stupid or whatever, it's just an overused word, but then you have a song like Talk To Me Nice, where he says that he calls his uh, white bitch Coco, which I thought was a reference to Ice-T's wife. I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. Hey, but then you get a fucking song like, goddamn, you get the last track right here. Whole lot of guap where he says that a white bitch called him a nigger. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. And then he has a line on here where he says that his car is blacker than seals, sis. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. Just come on, man. And on the song like Flex, he kind of does a lot of cringy references to, I guess, white people, I guess. Like he does this R.I.B. Kurt Cobain. And I'm like, oh, man, that's the most inappropriate mentioning of Kurt Cobain that little Yachty been in since uh, fucking Ice Tray, where he was referenced as cocaine. And then he has this like, get her done which was a reference to Larry the Cable Guy, and I'm like, oh, jeez, come on. Oh, and 
Flex for the fuck boys. That sounds like some gay gymnast shit that somebody would do. Like, oh, man. And speaking of some gay shit, on the song Boom, Little Yachty, he says that his dick is the size of four fish sticks. Talk about the idea of length over girth. Hell, four fish sticks, that's not even that long. A fucking... I don't, I don't measure fish sticks, but that's barely five inches, right? Like, come on, little Yachty. I know you have the name Little in you, but mm, a little odd to me. And Ugly God, he does this whole aha uh-huh flow that was started by Juvenile, just huh? Which, you know, is another referencing to being little, so I'm just like, oh, hey. Oh, yes, and also Ugly God has this reference where he says that his money is old, but it doesn't walk with a cane. Man, that's the lamest reference to being lame ever, if you get my lane. Oh, yes, and the song Oop sounds heavily inspired by the song Flex Like Ooh. And also the third verse on here, After Supreme, just this is the most off offbeat rapping I ever heard Little Yachty done before. And that's saying something. Now, on the song Get My Money, just T Grizzly saved this fucking song. It's just so amazing. T Grizzly has this line where he states that he doesn't co-sign rats. The only time they're stating facts is when they're talking to the pig or the police. I thought that that was pretty fucking amazing. Oh, yes. And Count Me In... Sounds fucking like the most clumsily produced song ever. I mean, it's so clumsy that you know how producers have a tag in the beginning of their song? Yeah, I hear part of the tag, like Pierre, and then I just hear little Yachty just spitting. Like, come on, man. That's fucking trash, man. She's Ready, the most cringiest fucking love song ever. He has this reference where he said that he told your boss that you quit either wise or otherwise you're fired. I'm like, of course she's fired if you tell her boss that she quits or or otherwise she's going to say you're a crazy man. I mean, kind of a little bit cringy there, but but on the song Love Me Forever, I thought that that was a sweet song. Too bad it doesn't strike like two minutes or nothing it's more or less an interlude than a fucking song at this the next track he referenced one of the lamest rappers ever which is nick cannon and i'm like oh man you know um i kind of was cool when ski master slump god referenced nick cannon but i'm sorry there's too much loose cannon tracks on this fucking album for me to just let that pass um pop out you know he does this whole reference to, like, pus or one of them do. Like, it's, it's just disgusting. It was gross. Um, on the song NBA Young Boy, you know, Young Boy, he flexed that he has four children at 17, a tiger, but he's not Mike Tyson. Of course, he's not Mike Tyson because Mike Tyson actually takes care of his tigers and his kids. But his tiger was taken away. I just like to say that. And on the song Mickey, you know, he does this little reference to like, um, he's not a rat like Mickey Mouse. And of course, Mickey Mouse is not a rat either. Like usually when you do a reference, it's like uh, for a punchline. Like, um, like, um, when it comes to girls, I have no type. I would be a horrible, no courtroom stetographer, you know, something like that. Oh, yeah, and I forgot the hook for Pop Out. It sounds like he's playing whack-a-mole, like, Pop Out, Pop Out, and he's trying to hit the fucking whack-a-moles. He also says that he want a girl with dreads, which may be a reference to the natural hair movement. I don't fucking know. FWM, which, you know, is a track where he says he's going to make your girl or give him oral until she gets blisters which is totally outright gross, like, ill. It sounds like you're going to give the bitch an infection or something because of your dick. Um, 66, 
You know, he says he's going to ball until he's 66. But in the beginning of the track, he says that he's going to rule until June 2018, which is pretty shy from uh, him balling until he's 66. At his age now, he would be referencing 20, 20, um, fucking, hold on, 2063 at the most. The song Baby Daddy, you know, little, little pump, he brings some much needed energy to the track, but anything would have sounded better with little, um, little Yachty, st- um, this studded cadence flow that he was doing on the fucking song. It was horrible. So what else can I say about this album? It's lazy. It's trash. I'm going to give it a two. It's pretty fucking horrible. Um, please like, subscribe, share this video, and don't listen to this album. Bye.